Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to use aggregation function in the list view. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to restrict some actions in the list view, I mean the create button, write button, duplicate button, then after you can also invisible the import, then after export Excel button, you can also control such actions using the list view. That discussion link is also given in the description and uh, if you want to learn more about Odoo with different views then you can just go to here in the playlist and here in this playlist you can use this one Odoo view GUI frontend views here you can see all the list of views plus real tasks also available apart from this like if you are following this playlist then you don't need to refer this playlist because this is the main playlist and in case you learn Odoo with different topics like supported methods how many supported methods in Odoo then you can use this at uh, this playlist then after available fields plus the real test case you can use this one then after CLI commands you can use this one then after Odoo setup then after more model level attribute and like uh, many different topics also available here and if you need any help or support here just you can go to about page and simply you can send your query to this email id so let's back to our main topic today like how you can add aggregation function in the list view so first thing is how can we use this aggregation function in the list view so Odoo div, like Odoo provides two type of aggregation function the total sum and the average of the specific field here so how it is work let's say I'm going to in list view of the student profile you can see this total fees also available here right so if you want to add here the total the sum of this total fees here for this specific records here it is also possible using some attribute then after like one more thing is like if you want to display average of this field here then you can use avg as a attribute name the full form of that avg is the average here so how can we implement this at these two attributes in the specific fields here we will see in this discussion so basically like this aggregation functions only work with the numeric field only like float and integer field so let's see how we can implement this aggregation function here so you can see this total fees uh, let's say this total fees automatically display here we didn't mention in the list view so let me minimize this one let me go to here in the student profile first in the views.xml file now you can see this is our tree view and you can see here we didn't define that total underscore fees here right why it's displayed due to the fields view get method here we just override that method due to that like it's automatically available in the front end side you can see we already override the tree view in the python side only using this method so this is the default method provided by Odoo for each model you can also see the real test case how we can define this one and what is the purpose we already explained in our playlist so let me comment this part right now we don't need at this time all right so let me go to here and restart the service one more time and let me here refresh the page now you can see the total fee is already not available all right so now like i will officially add that field i mean this total underscore fees in the list view here field name and here like student underscore fees Oh, sorry not student underscore fees actually total underscore fees you can see this one so here like I will try to restart the service plus upgrade the module and actually I already add that upgrade module list here so whenever the service restart it will automatically upgrade this module so don't confuse here Also, I'm going to front-end side and refresh the page. 
now you can see here like total fees available here right after this name field so now what we have to do is like simply like we have to add one more attribute name is the sum uh, like let's say if you want to add this total of this numeric field here you if you want to display here the sum total sum of this records it is also possible using like this way like sum and in double quote it is mandatory to add some label name here why we need to use because this is a, it will work as a tool tip here so let's say like total fees for this list of students so let so that's it like uh, we don't need to add here one or zero or something like that like on the simple sum equal to and after like we have to add like this label in. then after let me upgrade the module and trying to refresh the page now you can see after refresh the page you can see here this total sum is also available if i hover here you can see whatever we mention in the in backend side as a, that label name it will also display like total fees for this list of students so let's say uh, i'm adding here some filter like let's say group by uh, group by the school so you can see here the total fees also display like this and the total sum here so let's say for this nalanda university having a total fees is 5850 and if you sum this one you can display here like this so you can use the sum attribute like this way for the numeric value uh, numeric field especially i hope you understood like how you can add such attributes here and uh, might be you confused like why we need to use such attributes so simply like if you see here in accounting part or special the sales or purchase or inventory part like whenever we comes to the calculation part that time like easily user can understand the specific fields and specific requirements so they can also have the idea now let's say i want to add here average so simply we have to use avg and here like total like average for this list of students so let me stop and upgrade the module and trying to refresh the page so instead of the sum now you can see it's display as a average field here so like this way you can implement aggregation operations in the list view like this way i hope you understood this one and in case you have any doubt related to this operations please please comment below and see you in next session